Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so glad to finally be back in front of camera and filming um, and just bringing more content to you guys. It's been two months of just craziness and I took, I just took a little time off of YouTube because to be honest, after Vlogmas, I was just needing some time with my family and to kind of rethink some things and so I took a break. But I'm back and I'm excited to be back making more content. Um, today I'm just going to be doing a life update with you guys. We're also I'm also going to be talking about some changes coming to YouTube, uh, to my YouTube channel and some of my social media platforms. But we'll, um, I'm excited to talk about those things and also just talk about what's kind of been going on and update you guys on our life. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this video. So it's been a while since I've been on here and lots has happened. Um, <clears throat> not a ton, but a few things here and there and then the changes that we're going to talk about too. Um, but I want to start with just a little update on Jonathan. Um, he is napping right now. Actually, all of them are napping right now except for my oldest. He's playing. But, um, but yeah, so he is eight months old now, which is crazy. For those of you who don't know, he's my third child. And he was born in June and uh, June 25th of 2022 and so I also did lots of pregnancy updates when I was pregnant with him on here and so that was really fun but he's doing great um, yeah he's eight months old and that's just crazy to me it feels like you know he's almost a year old now and it feels like that was just so short of a time that he's been here with us like around us and it, it's just been crazy but anyway so he's crawling and um, climbing up on things now and he'll like actually walk along things now uh, like he can't like walk by himself yet but he'll walk along things as he's holding on to it and he climbs on everything and anyone who is sitting down which is kind of crazy but like he crawls everywhere and he was starting to like about three and a half months well almost four months he decided to roll over and <laughs> which was crazy and then at four months he started scooting like a little worm like an inchworm across the floor it was so cute um like and he'd do the whole army crawl too so he'd like do this all across the floor it was so cute um so that's kind of how he like migrated into crawling <laughs> but he's full-on crawling now and it's crazy I just feel like everything's going by way too fast he eats solids his favorite food is um not apple <laughs> um, avocado <clears throat> and banana it's literally his favorite he would rather eat just avocados and bananas all the time and then his favorite obviously his favorite food is still breast milk but um, so yeah he's been doing really good he's talking um, as far as like babbling he he says mama and dada, um, and he absolutely loves his siblings, like, so much. It's so cute. Uh, he will, like, any chance he gets, he wants to play with them, and it's adorable. But he's been doing really good. He sleeps through the night, or he was sleeping through the night, and then for, like, two months, it's been off and on, like, sleeping through the night, and then he won't sleep through the night. And most of that is he's just been teething so hard for the last two months. It's been really hard on him. He still doesn't have teeth yet. Um, my oldest, so I, we have three kids, and my oldest, he didn't cut his first tooth, first teeth, because he got two at the same time, but till he was eight months old, and Jonathan's eight months, and I think he's cutting teeth right now, like, and I think he's cutting, like, more than two. We'll see. Hopefully it's just two, um, but at the same time, we've been waiting for so long that I feel like he should just like, bring them all in at once. <laughs> just get it over with. So sleeping's been a little rough. Um, <clears throat> Kyla, my second child, she actually cut teeth at, um, I think she was four months old. And so that was really nice. And so this has been a little bit like, oh man, I just wish you would cut your t first tooth, teeth, whatever it is, soon. So we've been dealing with that. And so it's been a roller coaster of really hard sleeping stuff. And we're trying to wean him through the night. And I'll explain why later. But um, so that's been really rough. And he's just, he's miserable. And so we have to give him homeopathic teething tablets and some other things that I do for his gums um, just to help him get through the pain. And he can't, it's just, it's really hard when they're teething. So that's been a really rough bump in the road. But the other, last two nights, actually the last three nights he slept through the night, 
um, but he does get up off and on but it's been way less um, so I'm hoping he keeps up with that and then we'll just keep giving him teething tablets and hopefully that will help um, him get through the teeth cutting period but anyway besides that he's doing great I have you know just a few more months left of him being a baby really um, once they hit one it's kind of like the toddler years kind of hit and kick into gear which is a little sad um, but yeah so that's pretty much all that's been up with him um, and then postpartum wise I'm doing really good I am going to be going to see I am going to go see in the future um, a pelvic floor specialist uh, we can't quite afford it right now but uh, hopefully in the near future like in the summertime when we're making a little bit more money um, we'll try and I'm gonna go to one um, it's just nice to get somebody working in with you on strengthening your pelvic floor after having a baby and I just want to make sure like I always have a tight pelvic floor and I'm never loose I don't have prolapses I don't have issues with that I usually just have um, problems with tightness and tenderness as far as um, I'm not really gonna go into it but a little more tender and tight and so I need to work on loosening that and I need to see a specialist to kind of help me figure out what's going on um, but anyway so that is something I'm gonna be doing I've lost a lot of weight um, a good portion of the baby weight is gone um, I did start working out and now I've kind of not worked out because I've it's been two months of like very little sleep and so I really felt like I just can't work out and get time in to work out if I'm not sleeping through the night. Um, and so until I'm sleeping through the night and able to wake up early to get my workout in, I won't be working out, working out. Um, I lift children, I clean, I cook, I get lots of like movement in, but actually like doing core workouts and stuff I just don't have a whole lot of time for. Um, and hopefully in the future that will come. Um, but yeah, postpartum's been interesting. Um, so with postpartum, that also comes into what I want to talk about next. Um, I've been dealing with thrush. So thrush is a overgrowth of candida. Our skin already has naturally candida, naturally occurring candida on our skin. Um, and it's supposed to be in balance with other bacteria and other stuff um, on our skin. But when it when you get an overgrowth of candida, it can lead to thrush and um, uh, like yeast infections. Um, I don't have a yeast infection down where you would think it usually is. Um, I have been really healthy as far as that goes, but it's just on, on my nipples. So thrush is a very painful, red, flaky fungus that you can get on your nipples when you're nursing. Um, and it also can be something that's in the baby's mouth, oral thrush, and thankfully jo Jonathan is, was old enough when I got it that his body's been able to fight it off, but I've also been able to treat him naturally and myself. Um, but part of the reason why I believe I got it was due to the fact that um, I would, I would, when we were having a rough time when he was teething really hard in the beginning, um, I would lay him down. He, he slept with us originally anyway, and so I would just, you know, plug him into my breast and he would nurse. Um, and then I think what really happened is super dry here in the wintertime, like extra dry. And I think what happened is I would let him just nurse all night, but he wouldn't just, he wouldn't like let go, unlatch. He would just keep the nipple in his mouth all night. And so all that sugar, that's in the milk most moisture compared or also the dryness of everything um, can lead to an overgrowth of fungus so I think that's kind of what happened um, and also just a few other things um, I, I wasn't eating healthy and if you eat um, an over too much like processed sugars and things that can also leave uh, lead to an um, imbalance in your candida so anyway, um, I'm not going to go into like how I'm treating it because that's for another video and it would be way too long. Um, so if you guys are interested in a video on how I'm treating my thrush and how, because I do it all naturally because I don't believe that the medication actually works and it doesn't really kill it. Um, and there's other reasons why I don't use the medical route to cure that. Um, but anyway, if you're interested in a video like that, please let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to know your thoughts on that. 
Um, but yeah, so I've been dealing with that and it's painful. It's really painful and you get really red and like uh, shiny nipples with their flaky and cracked and it's awful. Um, but I've been able to manage it well and hopefully once he complete my I'm already getting better now that he's sleeping through the night and once Once you they sleep through the night you typically get better and you can even get rid of it Once they're stopped nursing, but um, anyway, I'll go through that in another video So as far as the postpartum is going, that's the one thing that was really hard um, That I've been going through but I had to go on a diet because of it, a very strict di diet, which was kind of like a, a mix between like GAPS or bone broth diet and candida diet. So it was like very, um, like very much lots of cooked vegetables, lots of broths, lots of bone broths, lots of um, uh, no grains, no sugar, no um, very little sugar anyway. And so very limited diet. It's kind of, and then now I'm adding in more things that are healthy for me. Um, but because of that, I lost a lot of bad weight. And so now I'm almost to the weight where I want to be. Not quite, but I'm almost there. And so it's been really nice to feel skinnier again and more like myself. Um, my postpartum hair loss, I was having some issues with that. And now it's coming back in and my hair is getting thicker again. It's so nice. But um, I've never had postpartum hair loss this bad. <laughs> um, I had some pretty bad hair loss with Jonathan when he was couple months old and I was pretty scared there for a little bit but it was fine I'm it's growing back in again and it's feeling really good and so I'm getting healthier I'm trying to get better about like remineralizing my body and feeding it because I'm breastfeeding a baby I'm a mom of three and it's just it's taxing on your body and so anyway but yeah so that, that's what postpartum has been like it's been going you know, good and bad, but anyway, so I'm doing pretty good there. So the man got up from his nap. Unfortunately, it wasn't a very long nap, like half an hour. Oh well, anyway, um, so yeah. So now I'm gonna talk about some new things Hello. coming to YouTube. Are you laughing? You're so cute. Yeah. So I have some new things coming up here. Um, I'm going to be changing my YouTube handle and my Instagram handle. Um, it's going to be something more inclusive of family and um, just our life and not just my name. I've decided I want to go and actually create a specific name for my YouTube channel and separate from my, my actual name. Um, and my husband is actually going to be doing more videos with me, like a lot more videos. So I know in the in the past I have talked about Josiah being involved in YouTube and he has been on here a couple times, but now he's going to be uh, like, we're gonna be talking about <clears throat> some topics surrounding marriage, parenting, homeschooling. Um, also we're going to be talking a lot about, well not, uh, we're also gonna be talking about why we're pro-life and abortion and all that. Um, we also wanna talk about some just cool things happening in our life and so that's really gonna be fun having him back on here and um, be more uh, full-time on YouTube kind of kind of not but um, anyway so he's gonna be on here more <laughs> and so yeah changing my YouTube name um, which is gonna be I'm excited um, I'll be bringing out a, a new video all about that as well um, so if you guys have any questions, please comment in the comment section because um, we'll be doing Q&A's also here in the future. Um, okay, so another thing I want to talk about, something I talked about a little bit or touched on in the past, in another past video, um, Josiah has been asked to um, become our church's youth pastor in the future. Um, right now, our church can't quite afford or don't have the capacity quite yet, probably not for another year, um, to become the actual part-time youth pastor. Um, and then we'll work up to hopefully a full-time, uh, he'll work up to a full-time pastor, um, youth pastor in our church. But right now, um, we're just doing youth ministry and um, teaching the youth, um, doing projects with the youth, chaperoning with the youth. 
um, and it's been really fun and I'm super excited. Right now we're mostly with the teens um, and so that's really what our ministry is about right now is just working with the teens in our church and it's been such a blessing and we're loving it. Um, but yeah, so that'll be a future thing that's probably going to be coming up is Josiah will be becoming a youth pastor hopefully in the near future. Um, and so that'll be fun. We also have several trips planned this year to take the teens on um, and that's exciting. We'll be doing some traveling which is also really fun um, and so that will be really cool, huh? Yeah. Also I'm going to be talking more about my Sunrider business. Um, I like to promote, I, what I do with Sunrider is I promote their products and talk about them. Um, they're a very great company. I would highly recommend them for anyone looking for whole foods supplements that aren't synthetic, that are made even or above the organic standard. Um, they are amazing. They're an amazing company and their products are so good and they work so well. I don't think I've ever seen, I've never tried a company that works so well. Um, I grew up with it and I never had any issues till I went off of it. Um, not to say that you can't do that without supplements, but this is just an easy way to buy these supplements that work and you don't have to work as hard with some other things. Um, but anyway, I've been very, been really enjoying having Sunrider back in my life and I'm trying to work on my business, hopefully here soon. Um, it's just been rough with not having any sleep. <laughs> Um, but hopefully I'll pick that back up too and that'll be more prevalent in my YouTube videos and on my Instagram um, so yeah anyway we're also going to be changing my Facebook page to a family page um, so Josiah is deleting his Facebook and he will be we will com be combining my Facebook page into a family Facebook page um, which will be really fun we're just trying to simplify things and take away a lot of distractions that are just not important in our life and we need to focus more on Christ what he has laid out for us and um, so that's kind of what what's going on with our life right now um, I will be doing a garden this year, so I am super excited to finally be doing it. I did a garden video years ago, or probably two years ago, and it didn't work out because um, I think I got pregnant or something happened, and so I'll be using those seed seeds finally. Um, but I'm going to really, I'm really, we're pretty much set up for it. This time I have everything planned out. I just gotta focus on what to plant and where to plant it. I gotta figure that out. But as far as like, I have the seeds, I am not pregnant, and we have more equipment that we can use for gardening, which was the biggest problem with gardening in the last, in the past, or the failure thereof, <clears throat> was we just didn't have the equipment to do it. And so now we have people we can borrow equipment from and use we have equipment too that we can use so we're more set up for a garden now and I am mentally more set up for a garden now and so I'm excited to be doing that this summer but yeah lots coming up super excited to be doing more YouTube videos especially with my husband Josiah and doing all kinds of things I have lots of plans I'm super excited about them so please if you have any questions if you have any videos that you specifically would like me to film for you please let me know in the comment section down below. I know there's a lot of videos that you guys have already suggested and asked for and I haven't been able to film them yet, but I'm working on them. They're written down in my book and I'm excited to go ahead and, um, <clears throat> and get those all up and ready. Um, one more update and one more thing I would like to mention before I leave um, is we are also going to be writing a couple books this year. So we're gonna be writing a book on what a baby is. We're going to be writing a book on, um, oh, what's the other one? Anyway, a couple children's books, um, and then a couple other things we're going to be writing, so stay tuned for that. I also plan on be coming up with some merch this year, which will be, be fun. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. There's lots coming up, lots of changes, um, but also super exciting changes. And so I'm, I'm excited and I hope that you guys are excited too. But anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this update. Um, it's been good to just sit down and talk to you guys. It's been a while, and so it'll be exciting to come back and, and 
do more. So um, anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great rest of your week. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.